I suffer from an extremely rare type of muscle dystrophy, uh -huh. and I have to take medication or I'll die. Right now, I weigh less than 80 pounds. I have all my life. Um, I have support of five of my doctors saying that I am living proof that medical marijuana works. I am completely against legalizing it for everyone, but there is medical purposes for it. And you, and you have synthetic marijuana that's available and other pain It makes me sick. I have tried it and it makes me throw up. I have tried all the medications there are and all the forms that come in, appetite stimulators or steroids. I have muscular dystrophy that's completely against my DNA. I'm sorry to hear my, that. Uh, my question for you is, will you arrest me and my doctors if I get medical marijuana I'm not, I'm not, in, I'm not in favor of medical marijuana being So being will you have me arrest me? How are Excuse you? me. I'm sorry. Will you please answer my question? Will you have it? Wait, wait. Are you not going to answer his question, Governor? I, I think I have. I'm not. Yeah, no, he asked you if you were going to arrest. He asked if you were going to arrest patients you? like him, nice Governor. To see you. You're going to just ignore a person in a wheelchair? Oh, I spoke with him. I know, but he didn't answer his question. All right. Well, this is. Hi, my name is Clay Holton, and first of all, I'd like to thank you for ending the federal raids against medical marijuana patients like myself. I recently asked. Rudy Giuliani and Mitt Romney this is a, about the subject, and instead of answering my questions, they turned their backs to me. I was wondering if you could tell me how you are a better candidate for the medical marijuana patients like myself. I would absolutely never use the federal government to enforce the law against anybody using marijuana. Controversial and conventional medicine. I happen to believe that it's probably very, very helpful, and I'll mention there's a few testimonials for that. But even in the uh, in the legislative sense, in the political sense, the federal government doesn't have this authority. I mean, if a state, especially, comes in and says that you can use it, like so many states have, then for the federal government to come in and say that we are going to override the state law, even if it's just a modest legalization, and override this law. That's an offense, uh, you know, on uh, uh, just just on the issue of states' rights. But how can people do this? How can an individual talk to you like that and say, say "Well, I'm a compassionate conservative. I want you to suffer." That's what they're saying. <laughs> you know, it, it's it's outrageous, and they don't know the history. How long has this war on drugs been going on? Essentially, since the early '70s. The first marijuana laws were passed in 1938, and they knew they weren't allowed to outlaw, so they passed a huge tax on marijuana. And even the war on drugs is rather, total war on drugs is rather recent. You know, think of all the respect that they had uh, for the Constitution uh, in, I guess, 1919 when they wrote a prohibition against alcohol. They knew they had to change the Constitution. And then they repealed it because it didn't work. But all this drug war business is done without, you know, authority. It's sort of obvious that it, they don't have the authority uh, to do this. We have probably spent 500 or more billion dollars since the early 70s. What do we do with individuals? Let's say an individual that never committed a violent crime gets caught three times in a nonviolent act of using drugs, even if they were hard drugs, and even if they hurt the individual, uh, they can be put in prison for life. At the same time, we have murderers and rapists and child molesters getting back out on the street. Uh, who was it today that was just released after 35 years? I was shot, and shot somebody who was famous. And, and anyway, the people who, the people, was it what, uh, Wallace? He attempted to kill him. But he, he gets out, he's back out on the streets, but yet they will put mandatory sentences. Our prisons are flooded with nonviolent criminals. We treat people who aren't drug addicts as criminals. Do we treat all alcoholics as tri criminals? Oh no. Politicians drink alcohol. You know, they're not going to do that. 